Hello everyone and welcome back to our third episode of our Road to Stardom career mode on Cricket Captain 2022. Aces are struggling up a storm, five losses in a row. What will the Aces do? A sixth loss, that's what they'll do. Oh, damn, I just can't believe that. Six losses on the bounce without our captaincy. Goodness me. And they played 10 games and we're back to the Ford Trophy. We're today, we are here against the Firebirds. They are playing at home so we are playing away at the Basin Reserve. Is this again? I thought we just played at the Basin Reserve. We did. So we've got two away games against the Firebirds. We've made a few changes because Robbie O'Donnell got surprisingly called up in the last match after getting 87 and with 114 runs in two innings. Solia, for the second, has whacked 156 to bring his batting form to full. I've decided to bring him in at number three to replace Robbie. I've kept Fortune. I feel like I need to try and develop him over time, so I'm going to give him a few games as much as I can at least. Everyone else, I really was thinking about bringing in Carter, but probably not just yet. He's on the fringes of coming in. Cole Briggs has now reached 100% match form as well. Look at that. Keane has been bowling pretty poorly. Two games, one wicket at 112. But the thing that is going for him is his batting. He got 17 not out. He really changed the match with that 17 as well. So I feel like I've got to keep him in almost for his batting more than anything else. But his bowling statistics do hold up well for the second 11 stuff. Look at this. That is unbelievable. It's better than Kyle Jameson, but that's okay. We're going to back him for now. Ashok has come in as another spin bowling option because he has bowled well so far this season. We get straight into the game. At Wellington, here we go. Martin Gupta will captain the aces. Not really a sight you see too often, if at all, actually. I can't remember if he has or not before, but there you go. Play on against the Firebirds. And the Firebirds have lost a bit of their firepower. Looks like that was, a, that was an unintended intentional pun there. We'll take that. They've lost Conway. It looks like they've lost a couple of players there. Don't quite remember who else, but looks like Van Beek is back. The Aces will call heads as per usual. We've won the toss. Are we going to bat or bowl? I think we're going to bowl first. I think the outfield speeding up is a big part of our decision to do so. Jameson with a free hit and it's oh, it's driven away, but it's actually an inside edge from Ravindra. It's going to be for Saifuddin to Georgeson. Down the ground, and it will beat Manon, and it will be four runs. 27 for none. Keen into the attack, and that ends the power play. 36 for none. It's definitely not the worst start from them, but it's not the best either. Dalport into the attack here against Ravindra. No wickets have fallen yet, and it remains that way. But the run rate is crawling at 3.5. Simon Keen, 40 for none to Ravindra. Pitched up, and he's driven it away through extra cover. That is a top shot from Ravindra. Quality shot for four. Keen to Georgeson. That is completely through him, and somehow he has not been bowled. I don't quite know how, but he hasn't. 56 for none. This is a better start for Wellington here, though. Can we get a wicket? Nope. That's going to be hit away for four through mid-wicket. Georgeson still has a slip. 60 for none. It's in the air. It's past square leg, though. That will get to the boundary for four as well. Simon Keane going it to Ravindra. He's through him. He's got a wicket at last. Simon Keane, he's been struggling. I don't know why I call him by his full name, but I just do. It is a wicket. We will take it. And that brings to the crease Michael Bracewell. Keane, he's got a bit of confidence now with that first wicket. Oh, but Bracewell, what a shot through the covers. It's four. Supreme cover drive. How about this time? He's knocked him over again. Two wickets, Keane. He's gone for nine off six, Bracewell. Simon Keane again now. Keane to Georgeson. Oh, it's down the ground. It's going to be four. There you go. Good shot from Georgeson. Nice straight drive. Eddie Ashok into the attack now for the first time this season in the one-day format. Tossing it up and Georgeson driving it square. There's nobody there and it will be four. Seven off his first. Keane, surprising me at the moment, bowling well. What a spell of bowling this is from Keane. 20 overs gone, 92 for two. We don't have the firepower of Lockie Ferguson, though. And we've got to be careful about that. We would normally go to him in the back end, but he's obviously playing for the Black Caps. Troy Johnson just dabs it away because there's nobody there, and it will be four. Clever thinking from him. I'm going to change it up and bring Saifuddin. Ashok has not bowled well in his two overs so far. Can he change it up? Yes, he can. He gets Johnson Playing on the back foot. He's got him trapped in front. A big moment. Middle stump gone for 15. He was just getting set as well. What an over from Ashok to get himself back in the match. Saifuddin to Georgeson. Through mid wicket. Can the player get around? No. It's going to be four. Dives away. It reaches the boundary though. 
Oh, he's taking a very risky run. And he's going to make it. And that will be 50 for Georgeson there. Well played to him. He reaches his sixth one day 50. Ashok to Georgeson. Oh, he's feathered it. He's feathered it. Georgeson's gone. I thought I saw some deviation. Good catch from Briggs. Ashok with his second. Goodness me, this is what we want to see. Jimmy Nisham walks out. The Firebirds again collapsing in the middle. 122 for four. Nisham. Oh, I tell you what, that's a good shot. It was risky, but it was a good shot for four. Spin Twins operating. Off the back foot, Nisham, though, through the covers for four. With both players new to the crease, Keane returns to the attack, having taken two wickets. Down the ground, though, from Blundell, and it beats mid on for four. Great bowling here from the Aces. This is great stuff. Oh, gosh. Tight overs galore at the moment. Kind of just seeing us out, which I don't like, but I don't mind at the same time. It's going to mean they need a big push at the end. What a spell from Keane. Two for 46. Wow, that was a massive turnaround from where he was earlier in the season. 58 for four. Ashok into his last over. And it's well bowled against Blundell. Swing and a miss. 160 for four. Oh, it's a no ball, but it's swept away for four. It's now a free hit. No. Oh, no. It's ruined his spell. That's a long, long hit as well. Last ball of a spell. He's bowled so well until those two balls. And he's dabbed it away for four. Two for 54. He didn't deserve that. Not ideal whatsoever. Just to see if he can do something different. Don't need to bowl him more than the one over. And he's edged it past. There's no slips there, Nisham. It's up now. Will solely a break, Nisham? It's going quite high. Yes, it is taken in the end. Delport with the catch. Nisham has gone for 25. That's a big, big wicket going into the death overs as well. Solia with the strike. Blundell, but he whacks it for one bounce four. That's a great, great shot. You know, I wasn't sure if we had enough bowlers, so I'm chucking the ball to Chapman now. No, I'm just, I just feel like chucking it to Chapman. He's bowled well so far this season. He's got whacked for six, though. From Blundell, 193 for five. Will he come back? Nope, down the ground. Oh, no, it's 50 for Blundell. Nice. Jameson's back. 50 or 50 for Blundell. His seventh one day 50. Jameson to Blundell. Oh, it's cut for one bounce. Four. 200 runs for Wellington now. Blundell's the key. And he pulls it all the way into the hoardings for six more. Jameson now to Robinson. To Robinson, and he whips it away for four. Jeepers. The death has arrived, and Delport will bowl it. The first over that is, and he strikes, getting Blundell, hitting across the line, trapped in front, and he's gone for 64. Hampton to the crease now. That is a big moment. So Fudin to Robinson. It's in the air, and it's caught. Good catch at the sort of short cover that we have there. Gupta, the captain, with the catch. Saifuddin with his first wicket of the day. Van Beek walks out to the crease, and he's knocked over for just the single one off two. Thank you for coming. Wellington once again collapsing here. We'll take it big time here. This is a big, big, big win for us. Delport to Hampton. He's got the slip. I don't know why he's got the slip, but he has. Through mid wicket. It will be four. 240 for eight. Delport to Hampton off the back foot. Cover can't get around for four more. That's two boundaries in the over. Saifuddin around the wicket to Fry. It's in the leg side. He's got four. Oh, no, that's not what we want. Fry getting runs. So food and around the wicket to Fry. It's still going to be four into the leg side. 268 for eight. Jameson at the death to Fry. He's cut it all the way for... Oh, it's a misfield. Misfield. Jameson to Fry again. Oh, Jameson stick a hand out. He's nailed it. What the heck? Fry's whacking us all over the park as a bowler. Can't believe what's going on. Last over of the innings. Delport with the last over of the innings. 280 on the board. And Fry continues to hit runs as a tail ender. He gets 33 from 18. Oh my gosh. His top score, surely, and it is. 288 for 8. Lots of 8s going on. Blundell, 64. Georgeson, 54. Keane, 2. Ashok, 2. Saifuddin got 2. Dalport, 1. Solia, 1. It was pretty decent bowling all round. We actually got them in a very precarious position at 8 for 232, but they put on 56 for the ninth wicket. That really stung. Not too bad though all round we'll take it after a very good start from the wellington side we've bounced back again but again they bounce back late in the piece what's going to happen next we'll have to wait and see coming again scoring runs sody got four sheet three 289 at 5.7 per over should be very doable but the question is can we do it three off the first over newton around the wicket to 
Will O'Donnell. It's into the leg side. It will be four. And it hits the picket fence. Fried to Guptal. Pulled straight. Wow, that is a top shot. A tennis bat. Flat bat shot four. And that's another maiden. Needs sixes per over at the moment. Guptal off the back foot through the covers. That will be four. We need him to stand up today. He's been a bit out of touch. Will O'Donnell into the leg side, and it's literally one bounce four. He's just chipped it in the end. Nearly went all the way. 36 for none. Will O'Donnell cuts it into the offside for four, and that brings up the end of the power play, 41 for none. A good start for, well, both teams again, actually, to be fair. Fry around the wicket to Guptal. Has he nicked it? The answer is yes. He walks off for 20 of 31, a start, but he's got to go. Solely it to the crease now. How will he go after his 156? Off the back foot, it's going to be four straight away into the act. That's a great shot. Solia has got two slips. And nice, that is good. Good response. Dabs a short and wide one away for Nisham into the attack now. To Will O'Donnell, off the back foot into the point area, but it's going to reach the boundary for four. Brings out the 50 for the aces as well. Will O'Donnell. And again, a repeat dose, this time past point. Four more. Last ball of the over. And again off the back foot. Oh my goodness me. Three back foot punches for four. And he's caught up. Will O'Donnell's caught up his strike right now. So there you go. Hampton to Solia. Off the back foot. Through the covers for four more. The back foot shots are doing us justice at the moment. Will O'Donnell, 75. Pulled away into the leg side for four more. 81. Eight. What? Eight? What? <laughs> 81 for one. I don't know why I said eight. 5.9 per over. The passes were ahead, but one wicket, and that pass shoots up. Nisham to Solia. Into the leg side. It will be four. Nice. In the gap, too. And nice timing from Solia. That's going to be four more. He's really come on with the bat after that ton, it seems. Flying along. 29 off 24. 5.8 the required rate. Oh, well dug out in the end from Will O'Donnell. And then drives past backward point for four onto 48. I honestly just didn't keep going. 5.8. Oh, he's gone, though. Sully has tried to advance and flick at leg side, but he's got an inside edge through the keeper. Great catch from Blundell. Gone for 30. Chapman will walk to the crease. Another candidate for the captaincy, I have to say. He's driven that very, very fine, but he's still middled at four. 100 up for the aces. The par sneaking up again, though, because of that wicket. Ravindra into the attack. And again, we attacked him last game, and we will do it again. Will O'Donnell cuts it. One bounce for brings up yet another 50. How good has he been for us this season? Especially in the one day is. Look at that. 192 runs at 96 average. He's got 96, 43, and now 53 not out. Very, very good. 115 for two, Ravindra. And he strikes back though. He gets Chapman. Chapman's plum in front, goes across the line, and he's gone for six off eight. Andy Fortune to the crease. Three, no, four dot balls in a row, though. 174 needed in a lot of overs, but there's still plenty of time. He cuts it away. It's a no ball from Nisham. It's going to be a free hit, and this is the free hit. It's four more from Fortune. Very, very good. Nine off eight. Ravindra around the wicket to Fortune. He's actually staying over, sorry. Oh, that's a quality shot through mid-wicket. That will reach the boundary for another ball. Six and over needed. It's still anybody's game. The pass suggests that right now. Could go either way. Two off the over. But it's another boundary off the last ball from Will O'Donnell. Once again, loves the back foot punch. 139 for three. Fortune. What's he going to play it like? He gets a full toss to whack for four. Very, very good. Four off the over so far. Last ball of the over. And a nice back foot punch into the offside. And it reaches the rope again. He now moves to runnable 23. 150 up for the aces. Fortune against Ravindra. Goes leg side, past square leg, and it will reach the boundary for four. A runnable 30. He's keeping us in it. No strokes from Will O'Donnell, though, is not what we want to see, to be honest. But I think at this point, we've nearly got 20 overs left. Will O'Donnell's probably just got to stick there, and Fortune's got to be the stroke maker. And that is what I mean, though. Why has he done that? He's dropped it mid-off. Also, what's that guy's here doing? That's crazy. What was that drop at mid-off, though? Fortune. No, he's caught it slip. What a great field placement in the 29th over. Fry gets a second wicket, and it's a big wicket of Fortune. Briggs walks to the crease now. Goodness me, that's not exactly what we want at all. 158 for four. Will O'Donnell is the key wicket, and he's bowled. No, in 
no, no. What have you done? What have you done? Oh, gosh. The classic collapse. All he needs to do is just stick it out, and he's instead missed a straight one. Dear, oh, dear. Sifudin will walk to the crease. This is not what we want to see right now. 6.4 per over needed. It's pretty much a T20 game, but with five wickets gone. So, yeah, not great. Let's just say that. Look at this field. Nice. Straight drive. Straight drive for four. Very, very good. That's quality. One, six, eight for five. Tossed up again, and he's caught at the slip, trying to sweep. Trying too much. He got the six needed off the over, and he's now got himself out. Jameson walks to the crease. 6.7 per over needed. Briggs is pretty much the last chance we have to win this game, and he drives it for four. 6.8 per over needed. Again, we are utterly struggling. Jameson, he's on. Off the mark. Jameson, it's one bounce four. That is a good quality shot into the league side. Needs 6.9. Briggs has to go for it, and it could cost his wicket. Nisham tries the Yorker, but he squeezes it past point. Briggs for four. 182 for six. Seven per over needed. Very much turning into a T20, but it's not looking good for us. Off the back foot from Jameson. That is a boundary. We will be taking those, though. 114 overs. T20, definitely doable. Can we do it? I don't know. Briggs gets an edge past the keeper. Very, very lucky. Jameson. Oh, he's, what the? No way he's caught that. No way. It's a great catch, but he hasn't caught that. Look. The Bulls, look, the Bulls hit him in the... Words can't really describe whatever happened there. Simon Keane walks to the crease now. 100 needed off 7.6 per over. 8 per over needed. Cole Briggs is going to need to be the hero here at this point. 8.5 needed per over in the last 11 overs. Briggs is the only chance we have, but it's one bounce four. 8.8 .8 per over. Very scary chase in the last 10 with three wickets left. Keane, though, drives, and it's going to be four. Tell you what, Simon Keane, what an inclusion he is in this Auckland Aces side. Briggs all the way. Briggs goes it for six. 8.5 needed. We got 11 off that over, though. Nothing needs to change. Down the ground, but it should be out, and it is. And Keane is gone for nine. Delport walks out. Now we've lost the important partner there for Briggs to hold on to. Delport bowl for a duck. And now it's Addy Ashok. Briggs is on strike and he's slogged across the line. And he's given. And that's the game. 2.13 for nine. And at 2.13 all out, it becomes the Wellington Firebirds win by 75. Disappointing. Disappointing display in the end. Cole Briggs, 26. It was a good fighting 26. A lot of starts. A lot of starts. And just couldn't kick on. Three for Hampton. Three for Ravindra. Two for Fry. He surely is the player of the match for his 33 not out. And two for 39. Brilliant bowling from him. His best. Yeah, it is his best career performance as well. And got 33 not out with the bat. Newton, two maidens. One for 40 one was also very crucial there we just couldn't get going we just had parts where it looked like we were in control and then it just went haywire once again 75 run loss that is not what we want see look at those partnerships in the lower order like we got 43 59 43 and then pretty much nothing else other than that that 56 run stand at the end really killed us there that really hurt fortune 31 have to say good knock from him his second game now averages 20 but more importantly it gives him confidence that he can strike the ball with six boundaries in that innings. I don't know. We got good innings, but we just couldn't kick on. Will O'Donnell should have kicked on more than 65, but you get that. It happens, and we lose by 75. It's really going to take a big hit. In fact, they got a bonus point win from that as well. Wellington, that is not what we want to see. In the other game, wow, they chased 276, two down. Goodness gracious me. We are now dead last, and net run rate is not on our side three games in. As we continue, it will be the Super Smash up next. So this is a good chance to see, I guess, the players play a different format and hopefully get a win in the Super Smash because we've seen five losses. Goodness gracious me. Looking at the forward trophy statistics, though, we can see Rutherford is top of the runs with 3-3-2 three, three, at 66. Bose 2-3-1 at 57. Will O'Donnell. Yes, we have an Auckland ace there with 2 and 4 runs at 68. Finney 185 at 92. And Johnson 180 at 45. Chapman's also there at 42 runs with with the wickets, Rippon's got 16 at 17. Sodi's got 9 wickets at 10. Hampton's got 8 wickets at 25. Shipley, 7 wickets at 19. And Ty, 7 wickets at 23. Looking around the grounds, low. Look at that.
bad. He got 79 off 86 balls for the Northern District side. Sad to see him again in other teams. We wanted him so bad, but it didn't happen. What? Canterbury Kings managed to beat the West Indies side in a warm-up game. Oh my goodness me. 5 for 46 from Sheet. And with that, that's going to be it for today's episode, everyone. If you did enjoy them, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more content, hit the post notification bell, join my Discord. Thank you for the support on the series so far, and until the next one, everyone, take care.